Well, meanwhile, the commander of the Australian task force in Afghanistan says his troops may be needed there for at least another five years. And the governor of Afghanistan's troubled Uruzgan province agrees. The immediate priority, though, is helping provide security ahead of this week's presidential election. ABC correspondent Sally Sara is with Australian forces in Tarankout. <laughs> The people of Uruzgan province are praying for peace, but the threat of insurgent attacks is never far away. Australian forces are being urged to stay in Uruzgan until security is stabilised. The federal government will have the final say, but it will depend on how long it takes for Afghan troops to stand on their own. It's a very difficult question, I think. Uh, that's up to... Uh, uh, Five years, I think, uh, we need uh, in the first place. The commander of the Australian Task Force believes it will be at least five years. And I think it could take longer. But uh, clearly, I just couldn't put a, a, a time frame on it. Um, but, you know, in a nutshell, it's going to be the long haul. In the short term, coalition and Afghan forces are trying to provide security for this week's presidential election. There's been a spike in attacks and there are fears the Taliban will do all they can to scare voters away from the polls. By using uh, indirect fire, uh, by using uh, IEDs, but also uh, probably by suicide attacks. Despite the risks, hundreds of people turned out for the opening of a new boys high school in Tarankout. There was a heavy security presence for the Australian funded project. Local community leaders say that security and development have improved. But Uruzgan still has a long way to go. It's estimated that 95% of the people in this province can't read or write. This week's presidential election will be an important test of public confidence as insurgents try to derail stability and democracy. Sally Sara, Late Line.